Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with the Cessna 172 so that we can figure out how to turn off the GNSs so that we can use the GTN. Let's jump in. So one of the products I really love is the TDS GTN 750XI. I use it in an external mode and it worked great with the 172 six pack until the new GNS 530 and 430. Now don't get me wrong, these units are awesome and I do like using them as well. I just like to sometimes go to the 750 uh, so I can practice with it. Here when we're making a button, we need to modify the LVARs. So I made a short press for both. You could have put them both on the same short press. Either way, they both fire. So basically what we wanted to do was we wanted to add an action and we're changing a data value because this is an LVAR. Then what we need to do was we needed to find the LVARs with 530 in it. Click on that, click on LVAR, and we found the LVAR that they had added and which is in the documentation on their website. So that LVAR is the GPS disabled 530. So currently it's a value of zero. So what we did was for the 430 and the 530, we chose to increment it by a value of one and we did limits with rollover of zero and one. So effectively turns us into a toggle button. If you had a switch, you could set one with the switch on, set zero with the switch off. So now that we've set those and we did the same thing for both the 530 and the 430, now what we can do is simply press this button to disable the GNSs. Now, before we press that button, let's go back into the sim and let's look at what takes place. So as you can see right here, the 430 and 530 are set up. We're going to be flying a flight plan direct to CARP. However, in the GTN, we'll set up a flight plan that takes us to the VOR. Now, right now, you can see that there's no issues happening with the VOR OBS heads. It's showing that the line's going to be over here. We got to fly out and pick back up with it. No problem. However, the moment we turn on a GTN, you're going to see right away this starts flickering because the two devices are both trying to fight for control. So it's flittering back and forth as they're both trying to pick what it is they want to do. And since our flight plan has us currently actually going from Ottawa out to the VOR before going to CARP instead of a straight line, Obviously, they want different directions of flight. The first thing we can do is disable the GNSs, and that will solve our problem. So using that button we programmed on our stream deck, you'll see that by toggling those to a one, they have now shut down. They're no longer available to us. And instead, what we have is everything running clean for us. We're now in control of where we're going. Well, it's time for me to head to CARP, so I'm going to hop on, get going, and get out of here. If you made it this far, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.